What's cooking gamers? Welcome back to another new video of my channel. So today's video is different because in this video, we're going to discuss about Zotos emulator, which is trending recently at emulators and cloud gaming universe. This single app can turn your phone into a gaming PC, but you need to know some settings and tricks to use this emulator properly. So grab your snack and make sure to watch the video till end. Also hit a like in this video and subscribe my channel. Let's go. I'm the one you have to All right, first of all, you need to download the Exodos emulator app. I will leave the download link for you at pinned comment. And yes, the app size is near two gigabytes, so make sure you have enough storage at your phone. After opening the app, it will download some necessary files to run the app properly. It will take some time to download. After download is completed, the app will close automatically and you have to reopen it. All right, then go to the preferences and set the display resolution mode to exact. Then from here, you can reduce the resolution to 1280 into 720. If your device is low end, then you can reduce it even more. Then keep the float ball menu option enabled. It will help you to get access to features instantly. Then rotate your device to landscape and click on the start button. From here, you can set some quick settings. The settings varies from chipset and processor, and it's known as Wizard. I will leave the Wizard settings for every processor at my Telegram channel, so make sure to join my Telegram channel, as my Android version is modern and more than recommended, so I don't need to apply the settings. After that, click on the Xodos desktop option, and your PC will get started. Now you need to select some last settings here. If you have Snapdragon processor, then click on Turnip Driver. Then, from here, you have to click on the first one option if you have Snapdragon processor, or click on the second option if you have any other processor like Mali or Andrino. Don't even look at the third option. After choosing it, our PC has successfully started here and it will run fully offline anytime, anywhere at your phone. You can use this PC for commercial official work and for gaming. You can easily bring on screen gamepad from the float ball menu, and we can easily get access to our mobile files to this PC and use them. So hope you liked today's video. Make sure to subscribe my channel for more interesting videos on emulators and cloud gaming. So I will meet you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye. You're mine.